Hello everyone. In last video, we have seen how to write a cyclic permutation in standard format. Now, let us see how to find inverse of a permutation. As a permutation is a bijection from the set of n elements to that set only, so obviously the inverse will exist. So, let us see how to find inverse of permutations. First, let us see the inverse of a cycle. So, inverse of a cycle. So, if sigma is a cycle, if sigma is a cycle, sigma is equal to a1, a2, a3, dot dot dot, ar in Sn, here 1 is less than or equal to r is less than or equal to n. If sigma is any cycle in Sn, then, then the inverse of sigma, then the inverse of sigma is a cycle, is a cycle return in the reverse order as sigma return in the reverse order as order of sigma. Now what is the meaning of this? The meaning is that is sigma inverse. What is sigma? Sigma is the cycle a1, a2, a3 up to ar inverse. So this means that you have to write this cycle in reverse order. Reverse order means first write ar, then ar will map to ar minus 1, ar minus 1 will map to ar minus 2 like this, then a2 and then a1. So this is inverse of a cycle. For example, inverse of the cycle 1, 3, 5, 7. The inverse will be 7, 5, 3, 1. Inverse of the transposition 3, 4, 3, 4 inverse is 4, 3, which is nothing but 3, 4 only. Because 4 maps to 3, 3 maps to 4. Either you write it as 4, 3 or 3, 4. doesn't matter. Let me take one more example. Inverse of the cycle 2, 4, 8, 3, 6. Inverse of this cycle will be 6, 3, 8, 4, 2. So we have seen here that how to find inverse of a cycle. Now let us see how to find inverse of any permutation. Just now we have seen the inverse, how to find the inverse of a cycle permutation or if a permutation is in cycle format. Now let us see how to find inverse of permutation in array format. array format or array form. So there are two methods. So method one to find inverse of a permutation inverse of a permutation first write it in cyclic notation. So to find inverse of a permutation sigma, first write it in cyclic notation. And then take the inverse. For example, if you have to find inverse of 
the permutation sigma in S6, which is given as 1 mapping to 6, 2 mapping to 3, 3 mapping to 4, 4 mapping to 2, 5 mapping to 1, 6 mapping to 5. We have to find the inverse of this permutation. So what we will do, we will first write this permutation in cyclic notation. That is, sigma will be written like this. So let us see, 1 goes to 6, 1 maps to 6 and then 6 maps to 5, and 5 maps to 1. So we will close the cycle here. Let us start the second cycle with 2. 2 maps to 3, 3 maps to 4, 4 maps to 2. So close the cycle here. So this is the cyclic notation of sigma and therefore sigma inverse will be equal to 1, 6, 5 inverse, 2, 3, 4 inverse. As you know that inverse of a cycle is the cycle written in reverse order. So the inverse will be 5, 6, 1. 4, 3, 2. This will be the inverse of this permutation. Sigma. There is another method, second method, to find the inverse of permutation and array notation. So the second method is you interchange the rows of sigma and rearrange in increasing order. Now what does it mean? Let us see by the same example. So for example, to find inverse of sigma is equal to 1 mapping to 6, 2 mapping to 3, 3 mapping to 4, 4 mapping to 2, 5 mapping to 1, 6 mapping to 5 in S6. What we have to do is take sigma inverse, that is 1, 6, 2, 3, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 2, 5 goes to 1, 6 goes to 5, the whole inverse, this will be equal to, what you have to do, you have to reverse the row, interchange the rows. So write 6, 3, 4, 2, 1, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 below, and then arrange the rows in increasing order means uh, we'll write 1, 1 goes to 5, and then we'll write 2, 2 goes to 4, then write 3, 3 goes to 2, then write 4, 4 goes to 3, and then 5, 5 is going to 6, and then 6, 6 is mapping to 1. So if you try to find the cyclic notation of this permutation, then you will see that 1 is mapping to 5, 5 is mapping to 6, 6 is again mapping to 1. Then two is mapping to 4, 4 is mapping to 3, and 3 is again mapping back to 2. So this is the same permutation which we got previously. 